I'm Chrissy Murison and you're watching NME News. What are you up to on Wednesday morning? Well, chances are you're going to want to cancel it and get yourself beside a phone line or internet connection instead. Oasis have just announced a UK arena tour this autumn, with tickets going on sale at 9am this Wednesday. The tour gets underway in Liverpool on October 7th, the day after new album Dig Out Your Soul hits the street, and winds up nine cities later in Glasgow on November 5. Tributes continue to pour in for soul legend Isaac Hayes, who died last weekend. South Park creators Trey Stone and Matt Parker have joined the likes of Dionne Warwick and Tricky in paying their respects to the singer, who also provided the voice of Chef in the cult cartoon series. Hayes collapsed after suffering a stroke on Sunday at his home near Memphis, Tennessee. However, the singer is set to live posthumously on in a new film about American soul music. Hayes appears in a small number of scenes of the forthcoming movie Soul Men, which stars Samuel L. Jackson and Bernie Mac, the comedian and actor who also died last weekend. Alex Turner is certainly keeping himself busy. Not content with headlining a stage at Reading and Leeds festivals next weekend with one of his bands, and busy in the studio working on album number three with the other, he has still managed to find time to fit in yet another collaboration. The Kills frontwoman Alison Mosshart confirmed this week that she has recently recorded a song with the Arctic Monkeys and Lash Shadow Puppet singer. The recording came about after Turner approached Mosshart to say he had some music he thought would suit her voice well. However, the Kill singer has said she is unsure whether the track will end up being released. Amy Winehouse has vowed to finish her song for the forthcoming James Bond movie and is even looking to release it the same day as the official version by Jack White and Alicia Keys comes out. The London singer says she is upset that the makers of the movie failed to give her enough time to complete her Mark Ronson collaboration before commissioning White and Keys to record the theme song to Quantum of Solace instead. She now says that she wants to prove that film representatives have made a big mistake. And finally, with the Premiership season kicking off this weekend, Man United's Michael Carrick has phoned NME to reveal what's on his team's dressing room playlist. Rio Ferdinand likes to listen to a bit of Dr. Dre or Snoop Dogg before a match, while Gary Neville is more of an Oasis fan who, rumour has it, used to play a bit of guitar. Meanwhile, boss Sir Alex Ferguson likes the more sophisticated sounds of Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. To read Carrick's column in full, pick up the issue of NME on sale now, and head to NME.com for the rest of the week's music news. That's all for this week, but I'll be back on Monday with a new special from V-Festival. Goodbye.